Hi and welcome to a new video. Face ID is the most convenient way to authenticate purchases, unlock your iPhone, sign into apps and more without having to tediously type in your device passcode. What happens though if an error suddenly occurred claiming that your Face ID is unavailable or that a true depth camera problem has been found? In this video, I will show you solutions to resolve this problem on your iPhone. Let's go! Cleaning the top of your device and removing any obstructions to your camera such as dirt or screen protectors is the first practical fix to this issue. After that, the next effective solution is to simply reset your Face ID and set it up anew. Open Settings on your iPhone. Go to Face ID and Passcode and tap Reset Face ID. Upon reset, choose Set up Face ID to configure it once again. You can also try to force restart your device. This approach is very simple, but it frequently fixes any minor software glitches on your iPhone. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button and release it when the Apple logo appears. If you're using an older iPhone model, you can refer at the tag in the top right corner or find the link to the Apple support page in the description below to know how to force restart your device properly. Another possible solution is to check if there is an available iOS update on your device. Sometimes glitches caused by outdated features on your currently installed iOS can result to a variety of errors on your iPhone. To update to the latest iOS version, go to Settings, select General and tap on Software Update. Download and install the update if it is available. Another option for resolving this problem is to install a repair tool on your computer. For this, I recommend Tenorshare Reboot, which addresses nearly all software issues on your iPhone. This method is quite practical because it will also immediately update your iPhone to the most recent iOS version in addition to fixing any software glitches. Aside from that, it also works both on Mac and Windows PC. However, please note that most of its features require a paid subscription. If you want to try and test it out, you can download the software by clicking on the tag at the top right corner or find the link in the description below. Upon installation, launch Reboot on your computer and click the Start button. Next, click on Standard Repair. The program will then automatically provide the latest firmware that is compatible with your device. After that, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the repair process. When the repair is finished, your iPhone will automatically reboot and the problem should now be resolved. If none of the methods was able to resolve the problem on your device, there is a possibility that the issue may be hardware related. Perhaps you may have dropped your iPhone or encountered any situation that could have resulted in physical damage to your device. For hardware-related issues, the best solution is to contact Apple support so that they can diagnose what went wrong with your device. If your iPhone is still covered under warranty, Apple will repair it for free. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.